Also, I scraped my shin at the river and I dropped my computer on the outside of my foot the other day. So I'm a little bit, <laughs> a little bit being held together by strings, but that's okay. Close the eyes. Three big breaths to clear out. Just like clear it out. Big exhale. Deep inhale and a big exhale. One more deep inhale with a big exhale. And we'll just keep breathing in any way that feels natural and smooth for you. Notice where the breath goes to. If it feels like it's like in just the chest, if you could open it into the back body slowly, naturally, without too much drain or effort. the hands together to the heart. And just send appreciation to ourselves, appreciation into the body, and appreciation for each other. And let's just Start some easy cat cows to open up the body. One more inhale and exhale, inhaling into cow, exhaling into cat, rounding back, stay back, relax your shoulder blades, draw the navel in, relax the back of the neck, roll upright, roll the shoulders. Shoulders down the back, open up the arms, lift them up, reach up, reach up a little higher and let it go to forward fold. Relax into your forward fold. Walk your hands back up. Take them across the body to give yourself a hug. Hold on to your shoulder blades and easy, just let them drop away from each other. Take the chin in and down. And relax through your forehead. Let go of the arms, reach them up. Exhale to push them out. 
and bring the fingertips all the way down to the sides. Roll the arm bones back, engage the upper back and the shoulder blade so that the eye of the elbow, the inside of the elbow rotates upwards and the fingers are straight out to the sides. Point your fingers are straight out. Navel in and draw the chin down. Just breathe into the back body, relax your hips and your knees. Take your head a little bit side to side from the chest, one side of the chest and the other. And change out if you'd like to change your leg position. Go for it. A couple more cat cows. Upright. Shoulders down the back, reach them out side to side, interlace the fingers and press up. Exhale, gentle release the hands to the opposite leg and lean back. Bring the hands to the legs and we'll just take some circle motion. Can be big or small. Change direction. With alignment, there's definitely guidelines. There's different schools of yoga with different ways that are the right way. And um, I just think alignment for the joints and then feel it out from there. It's the best we can offer to ourselves. Come on into your tabletop. So here, spread out the fingers, point your fingers are straight forward. This line up through the, through the arm into the shoulders, wrists underneath the elbows, underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips, and through your cat cows, inhale and exhale. Start with the tailbone, directing it up and down and everything else follows. Take the hands forward, tuck the toes under, and lift up the hips to down dog. From table to down dog, I usually will lift, move my hands forward about the length of a full hand. Maybe a little bit more even. Pedal through the feet, relax through the back of the neck. And step all the way forward. Halfway lift. Exhale into forward fold. Rise up. Open out the arms side to side. If you'd like, you can come through side to side or straight up through midline. Inhale back up. Exhale forward fold. All the way to your forward fold. 
In forward fold, you have about hip width between the feet. And it might feel good to have it a little bit extra. Making some space for your torso to come down. Relax the head. A little half lift, lengthen the spine, lengthen the legs. You can have the hands to the shins if that feels useful. Exhale, back to forward fold. Round in. Top of the head towards the ground. You can use your hands to support that and draw you down if you hold on to the legs. Half lift, lengthen. Engage the core, open up the chest using the upper back. And one more time to fold. Bend the knees, lay the torso onto the legs, low belly in, little by little, ironing onto the legs. Doesn't matter how deeply you bend your knees to get there, it's perfect. And half lift, step to plank pose. Bring the knees down to knee plank. Lift up the feet and move your ankles. Lift up the hips a little bit high. Drop them down a little bit low. Thumb in between where everything is as long from the knees up to the top of the head as it can be. Front body in, ribs in. And exhale, lower all the way down. Hug your elbows to the ribs. Cobra. Exhale. Two more times. Cobra. Hug your elbows in to the waist. Exhale. One more. And let it go. Push up to down dog. In down dog here, we can take a little bit of experiment to take your feet and step them back maybe an inch or two. From wherever you were. And kind of feel into that down dog. What does that feel like for your shoulders? What does that feel like for your torso? Can you lift up your hips as high? Does it feel like you're getting the same space? How does that feel for your legs? And take the feet forward, maybe a couple of extra inches. So from where you were originally, forward a couple of inches. See how that is. When you notice. Take the feet back to their original spot. And notice. Maybe it all felt the same. Maybe one felt obviously better than the others. And step all the way forward. Halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Rise up and stay up, coming into mountain pose. Let's take the hands and draw the fingers towards you. Massage in the thumb part of the palm. Oh, where's my camera? <laughs> there it is. I held it up to the TV. So I'm just kind of like in this part, this part. Thumbs are interestingly kind of like not the easiest part to stretch. If you did, you could like kind of like hold it and pull it towards, towards you. But just take care of yourself. Other side, pull the fingers towards you.
to massage through the palm, the thumb. Reach your arms up, exhale forward fold. Halfway lift. Let's take the left foot and step back all the way back. Pad the knee if that helps you, bring your back knee down, fingertips to the ground, draw the heart forward, and reach up your arms. Big breath up to the sky. Exhale, hands down, step into plank pose. Lower the knees down, lower the heart down, hug your elbows to your sides. Cobra, inhale, long breath. Exhale, down dog. Step forward. Half lift to forward fold. And rise up. Bring the hands through the heart. And back up, inhale, exhale, forward fold. Half lift, and take the left foot all the way back. Again, or the other foot, right foot. Pad the knee if you like, fingertips start, pressing down to lift up the heart forward and reach up the arms. Big breath to the sky. Exhale, hands down, step into plank pose. Come through Chaturanga, lowering down, up dog or cobra. Exhale, down dog. Step forward, half lift, fold, exhale, let it go. If the knees wanna open out side to side, you might need to bring them mindfully into alignment or bring your feet out a little bit more. Rise up, inhale, bring it into the heart. And back up, inhale, exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift, exhale the left foot all the way back. Soften that knee down, fingertips to the ground, heart draws forward, knee over the heel, arms up, lift up. Exhale, hands down, step into plank. You might bring the knees down, feet up, hold your knee plank. Bring the weight into the left hand. Stabilize that left shoulder, hug that shoulder blade in, really glue it to the ribs. You might want your feet, your knees a little bit wider than together. And just try lifting up your right hand. Try the right hand down, underneath the shoulder. Left hand lifts. Not a twist, not dropping all the way over into the side. Trying to stabilize through your midline. Hug it in. Try it on that left hand again. So my weight drops over to the side, but I'm trying to bring it stabilizing into midline. Other hand, one more time. Exhale, let that go. Come all the way down, tummy. Cobra, exhale, down dog. Great, three leg dog, take the right leg straight up. 
exhale, bring that foot all the way forward, come up into crescent lunge. Knee over the heel, arms up. Bring the hands to the heart, draw the heart forward and come into twist. So the front knee, opposite elbow props against that knee. So my front leg is my right foot and this is my left elbow. <laughs> twist the heart towards the thumbs. Exhale to let that go. Bring your hands down, step foot forward, step forward. Halfway lift, exhale, fold. In your forward fold, you get this kind of taking your torso onto the legs as much as you can, low belly in, hip points towards each other in the front, back of the neck long, forehead moving towards the shins, top of the head towards the toes. And then over time, the tailbone lifts up. Even just a little tiny bit. Bend the knees a little bit deeper, sink back and come up into chair pose. It's interesting to come up to chair. Usually we sink into chair. Lift up to the sky. Oh my goodness. Upward salute. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift. Take the right foot all the way back again. Lower the knee down, fingertips to the ground. Lift the heart up, arms up. And exhale, hands down, step back into plank. In plank, you can have your legs straight or you can have the knees down. And easy, bring the heels to one side and to the other side. Now it might be the knees down, so your feet are moving side to side. Doesn't have to be like all the way. Please don't. <laughs> Just this little shifting. Good. If your knees aren't down, bring them down. Lower your heart down. Take a breath into Cobra, long breath. Press into the hands this time, hug your elbows and maybe your heart lifts a little bit higher. Exhale, let it go. Push up to down dog. Connect to your breath. A really soothing exhale. That feeling of relief through your exhale, like you just got home. <sighs> Take your left leg up, three leg down. Exhale, step that foot forward, rise through crescent. Coming into twist. So we want to have our hips feeling really secure. The hands to the heart, the heart draws forward. This is going to load more into that front hip. So we want to check in with it. Twist. Exhale, bring the hands down, step forward. 
a little half lift, forward fold. Sink back a little bit and come up into your chair. You might use your hands at your hips to kind of help with that process of rising through chair. And lift up to the sky, upward salute. Relax your arms to your sides for mountain pose. Let's stretch out the quads just a little bit. Standing quad stretch. If you'd like to use a wall for support, please do. And do you feel it in the quad? Do you feel it more up in the hip or at the knee? How's your low back? Are you back bending? Draw the low belly in. Avoid being rigid, but notice what is the stabilizing area and what is stretching away from there. I'm stabilizing through my low belly, through my pelvis, stretching through the muscles in the front of my leg and drawing the knee back to do that. Drawing the foot close in, let it go. Other side. Take the right foot and send it back into warrior one. And we'll take three times bringing the hands behind us and release the fingers. Soft through the elbow so there's just a little bit of micro bend through the elbow. Lift up the heart, draw the arms down. Lift up the chin a little bit. Really proud warrior here. Exhale, round, humble warrior. Use that deep core strength, coming back up to proud warrior. Draw the hands down and lift that beautiful shining heart up. And back in, rounding in. Low belly in one more time. Lift up the heart. And in. Release the hands, rise up and lengthen out your front leg into pyramid. Engage the quads to lift up that kneecap, stabilizing the knee. Bend your knee, rise up through warrior one. Fly into warrior three, airplane. I like to, as you probably know, have my hands at my side, spread out the fingers, really engage the upper back so it feels like cobra to fly. 
You might have your arms at the hips, the hands at the hips, out to the side or forward. Land into mountain pose. Change sides, warrior one. Step back with the left foot. Knee over the heel, arms up. Bring the hands behind you, interlace the fingers again. Roll the arm bones back. Uh, nice and proud. Squeeze your palms if you have them together. Round the head inside of the knee. Three times, come up. Really feel that proud warrior. Heart lifts up, exhale, round in. And up. And in. And up. Lengthen out the leg, release the hands into pyramid. And that knee come up. Fly into your warrior three. Land into mountain pose. Great. Let's just step out wide. Parallel the feet into your forward fold. Take another couple of breaths in your wide forward fold. Notice what would be useful to let go of, what doesn't serve you in this pose. Another breath to engage the quads, lifting them up. Walk the hands forward a little bit, come into a half lift with the legs wide. And exhale, lower the heart down, elbows towards the ground. Half lift wide. Exhale, heart lowers, elbows towards the ground. Like chaturanga arms, like sphinx pose. One more time, heart forward and lower. Good. Walk your hands back underneath you, bend the knees and come up, hands up to the hips. Open out the left foot to warrior two. And again today, I just want to set up in warrior two and come right into side angle. Stretch out the side body. Nice open space through the palms. You might even make fists and open them up. Stretch out the palms a bit. Reverse warrior, hand comes to the back leg, up and over, point behind you. Front knee remains over the heel, back to side angle. And back to reverse warrior, up and over. Into triangle.
Triangle, take your top hand and lengthen it overhead. So you're reaching. Reaching out beyond the top of the head. Easy, bring that hand down, bend your knee, and we'll come back up. Rotate the foot into your wide forward fold. Stretch out side to side, reach for your leg, give it a hug. and slowly rise up. This side I'm not gonna do for myself, but I'll talk you through it. Warrior two, position over to the right. Into your side angle, prop up your arm, lengthen. This could be side angle, you know, it could be quite high. As long as your knee is over your heel. Reverse your warrior up and over. So, I want to be in this nice, long, wide stance, though. Into side angle. Check how you're holding your bottom elbow. Is it pressing down, or could you press it in and create lightness through the elbow? And reverse warrior. Into triangle. Reach forward. Rotate the arm. Top hand lengthens like you're pointing in front of you. Point, 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 reach away from your hip. So I'm reaching out beyond the top of my head. Let that go, bend your knee, come back up. Rotate the foot back into your wide forward fold. Wide forward fold. Then through one knee at a time, lengthening side to side. If it feels good to bend your knee, walk your hands away from there to the other foot and relax in. If you like to come into Skandasana, it's different through the extended leg because the foot rotates up. So this becomes more of a hamstring stretch through the extended leg and less of an inner thigh stretch. If I was to keep my extended leg in its position and sink into the knee, I would be lengthening and stretching more through the inside of my leg. Heel toe the feet in to your froggy squat. Maybe you can have your heels down. If they don't come down, you could put a pillow underneath them or a towel to make it more level. Good. Bring the hands down, lift back up. All the way up. Step back to the front of your mat. Come to forward fold. A little half lift. Left foot all the way back. Bring the knee down. 
bend the back knee and we're reaching towards the foot. So I'm reaching. This is a twist with my hand under the shoulder. A block would probably be really useful. A strap or a towel could be useful. Whatever you need to be high enough to grab for your foot and have the foot close enough that you can touch it. And if none of that is true at this moment, it's okay. Just reach towards your foot. And easy, let that go. Bring your hands down to the inside of your front foot. We're gonna come down into lizard pose. So lots of options for lizard pose. I have my hands under my shoulders, my leg, is walked out to the side, toe and knee, same direction. Don't let the hip just drop out. Don't let the knee drop out. Just keep it in line with the foot wherever that is. And you might come down to the forearms. You might have your back knee up or down. Slowly walk the hands back up. Walk your front foot back into alignment and lengthen out your front leg. Point your toes up. I'm drawing my hips back. the weight forward. We're going to step back into plank pose. Bring your right forearm down. Bring your left forearm down. Forearm plank. Lift up the hips, walk your feet in, down uh, to um, dolphin pose. Slowly walk back into your forearm plank. Left hand, this part's tricky. Power up your shoulder. Right hand. <laughs> lift up your hips to down dog. And we're gonna take that left foot, lift it up and step it forward. Bring your back knee down. Coming into the quad stretch on this side. We'll walk your front foot out as needed. Bend the knee and reach for your foot. And slowly come out from here, come into your lizard pose in your time. Make your way out, step back, and come down into child's pose.
to tabletop. Thread the needle, right arm up, and thread it through. Remember, we keep the feet about parallel, the hips about level and even. Slowly come out, reach your arm back up and change sides. out, reach your arm up, and let it go. We come into a seat. Bring the feet together, butterfly forward fold. hands up and we're going to take the um, right knee, just my left knee, <laughs> right knee under the left foot over the top. Ground into your sits bones, kind of adjust your seat, hug this knee in to twist. So we twist over to the left if the bottom leg is the right. out. Shift your foot closer up into aligning the knees as much as you can. Great. Take your right arm up, bend the elbow, and use your left hand to support that elbow, rotating the triceps a little more forward. If that feels steady, take your other hand across to the low back, bend the elbow, maybe the hands come together, maybe not. Keep your spine lengthening upwards so we're not rounding the upper back. It's kind of keeping this sense of like proud warrior almost through the chest. If it's interesting to come in towards a fold, Release that through the arms. Take your top leg, hold on to the foot and the leg, and bring it a little bit closer up. So my shin is horizontal. Hug it close. Rock it across the body. Sometimes I take my bottom, my arm here and like bring it underneath. So my forearm is kind of supporting my, my leg. If that feels a little bit nicer. Good. 
easy. Take that leg out to 45 degrees and this one can shift a little bit. Lift up and fold over your leg. Walk the hands up and we'll change which leg here. So now the bottom leg is gonna be the left leg as we come into our twist position. Maybe your elbows on the outside of the knee with the palm open. The back shoulder is actively drawing back. Shoulder blade towards the spine. Unravel and take your foot closer up. Drawing the north knees in towards each other. Left arm up, bend the elbow. The triceps, um, will be naturally facing out towards the uh, sidewall for you. And if I take my hand and help rotate that a little bit forward so that my elbow, my shoulder kind of rotates in a little bit more. Other hand could come across, then the elbow. The fingers might touch, the hand might hold, they might not. If you have like a, your shirt, you could hold on to your shirt. If you had a scarf or a towel or a strap, you could hold on. It's just the direction that it's going. It's, I don't think it's the biggest deal, you know. Into your fold if it feels good. Release the arms and hold on to your leg. It might help stabilizing you to move your bottom leg out a little bit more. This could be an alternative for pigeon, figure four. Rock it across, hug it close. The closer you hug it, the more you'll find some of that like outer get back of the leg stretch. And easy, let that leg come out to the side, 45, about 45 degrees. Lift up the heart, fold over your leg. And we'll just bring the hands back up. Let's take the legs into boat pose and do a little side to side. Reach out to one side, bring the hands up, the other side. Your boat pose might have the feet on the ground. I like mine on the ground with my spine quite high up for alignment. You might be working with your feet up, leaning back a little bit further. If you're losing sort of control through the core, if it feels like you're dropping into your low back, adjust. Exhale, 
back into neutral boat pose and lower down slowly, as slowly as you can with control. When you get there, hug your knees and come into your happy baby. Bring the feet down into bridge pose, stretch out through the front body. I'm going to avoid that one. Lift up the heels and roll back down. Lift up your left leg, kick the sky. You might even take your hands, interlace them behind the leg, drawing that leg a little higher, a little closer. Cross the ankle for uh, figure four. Bring your foot down, that left leg back up to the sky for a stretch, and change sides. Right leg up, stretch out the hamstrings a bit. Into figure four. Come out, leg back up to the sky, bring your foot back down, back to bridge pose. Exhale to roll down. Hug the knees in, rock out side to side. And let's come into your twist. Any twist that feels good for you.
twist the other way. Ease out. If you need anything else, otherwise come to Shavasana. Like any other poses or anything that you need. Come into your restful position. <laughs> 